Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Now, earlier in the week, while Kentucky was playing basketball, Governor Matt Bevin actually introduced his budget for the 2018 year. It is very controversial and contains massive spending cuts that are going to have a huge effect on the state. So I thought we'd take some time tonight to let you know what he proposed and whether or not there might be better options. Let's start with some of the good things. I don't think everything is bad. He actually did a couple things I think are important. Number one, he agreed to cut the $162 million tax subsidy that's been given to the movie industry in Kentucky. This was created with a good idea, bring films to Kentucky, but it's ended up being exploited. Very few major movies have come here, and it's really just been a giveaway for producers. Bevan was right to cut it. Second, he agreed to fully fund the pension fund. This is something that's been needed to be done for a long time, and only the last three legislatures have done it. I do salute him for that as well. And number three, he agreed to increase funding for the legal system. This is very important. Commonwealth attorneys, county attorneys, public defenders, there's been a huge backlog in Kentucky, and now funding will be increased. So I start with that as a positive. There are some good parts, but the rest of the cuts are serious and need to be understood. Let's start with number one and maybe the biggest, a $150 million cut to teacher health insurance. Now this is how this works. If you're a teacher that is retired after having retired before the age of 65, the state throws in money for health insurance until you reach 65 when you can get on Medicare. But Bevan is considering and has offered to take that all out so that teachers who are retired between the age they retired in 65 would have no health insurance. Now the state has paid this for years because of the gap, but if this is taken away, teachers that you know that have that gap would not have health insurance. To me, that is a big issue and one that is completely irresponsible. Second, $130 million in cuts to school transportation. Well, how would that happen? Basically, Bevan is asking local school districts to pay all school transportation costs instead of the state. This will devastate rural school districts. A lot of times those counties have big areas and it costs a lot to go up into the hills and various rural lands to get students. Now the local district would have to pay it all and if they can't, divert money from the classroom to it. This will be a back-breaking crippler to many school districts. Third, he's offered to cut 70 programs completely out of the state budget. Now, some of these you might argue aren't a big deal, but some of them are huge. One, the Robinson Scholarship Program. This is one of the most successful things that the state of Kentucky has done in many years. They go to coal producing counties and allow students who have never had a family member in college to get to go to school free of charge. This has been a massive change for families and Bevan wants to eliminate it. Two, lung, colon, and cervical cancer treatments. Right now, you can go and actually get scanned, even if you don't have insurance, for these cancers. This would take it away. Number three, removing all money for new textbooks in schools. This would mean for two years, no new textbooks anywhere in Kentucky. To me, if you value education, that's unacceptable. Now, sometimes supporters of Matt Bevin say, if you don't do these cuts, there's no way to balance the budget. But that's simply not true. We right now are $500 million short, and one way to actually do it is to raise revenue. And there are a few easy switches that could make this happen. Number one, right now in Kentucky, we don't have a luxury services tax. For people who buy things like golf club memberships, landscaping, sailing, they don't pay any taxes. Take that away, that's $100 million. Number two, a tobacco tax. Add $1 to every pack of cigarettes. Yes, it costs a lot more, but cigarettes do more to harm the health of this state and cause increased health care costs than anything. That's $150 million. How about we add casino gambling? In the first year, that would be a $300 million bump, and over time, it would be $125 million a year. Just those three things alone would bring in $375 million. And what if you did what West Virginia and Ohio have done? raise the tax rate on the richest 3% of Kentuckians a small amount, from 6 to 6.5%. That would be a massive amount, $150 million. And finally, what if you took just 10% out of the federal tax cut that people just got for the richest 5% of Kentuckians? That's $2 billion. 
10% would be 200 million. But even if you disagree with those last two, the thing is obvious. We have to raise revenue. Matt Bevin's decision to cut from teachers, students, transportation, and cancer screening simply cannot happen if you want the state to go forward. We must raise revenue, and Governor Bevin's budget does not do it.